uh, Team USA Basketball. They really lost to, I think the first game was uh, against uh, Nigeria, and they lost. And then they mm-hmm. lost yesterday or the other day really? to Australia. Julian, Team USA Basketball, right. should they panic? Uh, I don't think they should panic, but they should kind of like, I think what it did was probably it woken them up to like the rest of the world. I don't think I like, I honestly feel like with the popularity of basketball and, and even other sports for that matter, it's, you're starting to see the talent pool get better. You're no longer, I don't think you're no longer, well, for a while, you're probably going to have USA probably dominate for, for a while, but the rest of the world is slowly, but surely catching up. I mean, almost every Olympic team or team that's going to play in the Olympics has at least one or a couple of guys that are in the NBA. Yeah. Like I think Nigeria had two or three guys that were in there. And three then, guys. and, and even like, uh, even if you have guys in Europe, Europe, they play pretty high level basketball. Like they're Dude. not, they're no, they're no scrubs over there. Like the, it's pretty high level basketball. I mean, look at Spain. Spain's been like the notorious only competitor to us for decades now. Uh, we'll see if they repeat it again. But I don't think they should panic, but I do think this has been a little bit of a wake-up call uh, to be like, hey, like the rest of the world is it's getting better. And granted, they did just start practicing, I think, like a couple days before that first game. So yeah. that's a little bit in their defense. But at the end of the day, your whole team is completely filled with NBA All-Stars. Not even just NBA players, NBA All-Stars, or were All-Stars at one point. So it's like, or All-Star caliber. So it's like you sh- you shouldn't be losing, but I don't think you should freak out. It is just the friendly here's, at the end of the day. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. Honestly, to me, like I know everyone ended the season at a different point, and it might have felt rushed to some players and whatnot. I feel like there's really no excuse to lose to these teams. There That's isn't. The, there rest isn't. The, rest world, the rest of the world is catching up, and you know what? You know what? I got something to say, bro. Listen, AD. It's flying so hard under the radar right now. You are literally the best player on this team. You are the best player on the USA basketball team. If LeBron was on this team and they lost the first two games, you know what we would hear nonstop? LeBron slander. It's going to be LeBron's Not again. Me. Remember, remember LeBron, that back in the day? LeBron <laughs> slander. Now, KD is the best player on this team. They lost the first two games. Uh, and, and I didn't hear anything, no blame, nothing, even though the games didn't count. i like, come on, man. It, people well, praise him when, he, when he's play, doing his thing. He's the best player on the planet, this and that. Like, USA basketball, you guys got to take it serious. Like, well, here's my, the country. Like, you know what I mean? And if it was LeBron yeah. on, his, on these teams, they lost the first two. LeBron can't lead. LeBron isn't clutch. LeBron isn't Jordan. But it's KD now. I don't know. Nobody even, no one's worried. No one says anything. There's no KD slander. My one thing I probably will say, though, is, I mean, you, it's not like it's just him. I mean, you got a whole fucking squad of, like, top, like, some of the best players in the NBA. So it's like, all right, yeah, KD don't show up. You got fucking Damian Lillard and Bradley Beal and, like, a, a bunch of other guys. I know. And, and it's I like. Know. And, like, he is the best one. He is yeah. good on that team. He yeah. is the face of this team right now. AD is the face of USA. But I do think you should, not, you should not be dropping any L's to anybody except for, like, maybe a Spain. Like, that's the only, like, excusable team you should be losing to. Like, Well, to go, to, you know, to speak to Julian's point, I guess, it is true that, like, you know, everybody kind of expects the USA to always win because, you know, it's an American sport and we always generally have the best players. But a lot of these players, although they're, like, maybe names you never heard of. These are like NBA caliber team. Maybe they're like the 14th, 13th guy on a team. You know what I mean? I can tell you the Nigerian team, there's three heat players. There's Casey yeah. Opala, there's uh, Precious, um, and Gabe Vincent, which Gabe Vincent is like a... And a I'm sure a lot of those guys bench. play in Europe too, which is yeah. very competitive. There's professional players, you know, uh, you know, as far as uh, professional NBA players. And there's also t- you know guys that come from other teams. Dela Vadova is on, uh, was it the Australian team I think I saw? Um, hey, you got your boy Luca playing for Slovenia. Yeah, down so, over yeah. there. There, there's that caliber, and like you said, like 
it's not guaranteed. Like, and you know, maybe USA doesn't have the best players because everybody's trying to, you know, hear their bodies, right? Because Steph Curry's not playing. LeBron James. I just saw LeBron James at the yesterday. That's why I'm like, this is definitely like their B squad, man. Yeah, James, they don't have James, like... I saw James Harden and fucking Monte Cristo. He was high as fuck. He looked like uh, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Um, so maybe we'll have the best squad, <laughs> but you know, kind of everybody expects us to have the best team, right? Because it's our sport. Um, they don't have the best uh, squad, but they still, I think, by far the best team. That's like the expectation. Yeah. The expectation is. Yeah. That's what you no, mean. They, I, I think they, I don't think it's the expectation. I think it's just it just is. I mean, like, like, dude. I mean, as even though that, yeah, you don't have Steph Curry and you don't have LeBron. And you know, dude. I mean, look at the team. Like, it's like it's yeah. insane. Like, it's a, it's still a stacked team. I mean, their bench players are like Jason Tatum. Like, yeah. it's just like yeah. Everybody else takes, you know, expects us to dominate. Um, I actually think, I mean, should they panic? I mean, is Kyrie on the team? He's, uh, Kyrie's not playing right now. He's not he playing. Injured, that oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I forgot. Yep. Yeah. Um. So, so, you know, like you said, this is like our B team. I, I don't expect them to go that far. You know, I, I kind of I remember when was it like two thousand oh. something. Well, a, a Dwayne Wade team when they won like the they won silver like they didn't win the whole uh, the LeBrons. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was 2008. Been, that 2008. Uh, it was like 20. Then? Yeah, it was something like. Yeah, they lost in the semifinals and they, but they won yeah, bronze. They, they won in 2012, though, right? 2012. It, it was. A, it was like kind of. It was like I think LeBron was still in Cleveland at the time. I think it was back then. All right. I think, anyway, I think AI was on the team. It's, AI it's not, was on it's it. Not too early to hit the panic button. They shouldn't be hitting the panic button. But but still like. I would hope that they wouldn't lose to another team at, at least. Like, because come on, that, like the one that really worries me was Nigeria. Like Australia, I mean, I think is probably a better team, but like Nigeria is like not even close to being a competitor. Yeah. Like they're not even close. And the I fact that they lost to them was like they lost a close game. It was I think ninety to eighty seven. So uh, they lost on shooting. I didn't. Dude, I didn't was, it game. said something. The last time they played them, they beat them by like. 60 points or something shit like yeah. that it was something it, absurd i don't remember what it was but it was like the last time usa played nigeria it was like by like 60 70 points or something ridiculous yeah. so l- let me Dude, pose the man. question let me pose a question like how do you guys feel about because i haven't watched any uh the usa basketball I'll probably, I'll probably watch the olympics when it when it's on but as far as the exhibition i have like no interest um but like what is your guys level of interest going into the olympics as far as basketball like is, are you just like, oh, I expect them to win, and if they lose, that's 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 a bigger story than them winning? Or are you going to actually like into like, oh, let me see who's what kind of international play oh, there is? You know, now that they lost the first two games, um, it actually made me more excited to watch it because I'm like, okay, like Julian said, there's some level of talent out there, which does make it more exciting. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to see them win by fifty every game, like which we were accustomed to. It, it did kind of get boring, in yeah. a sense. You know what I mean? You want to see better games. You want to see better quality basketball. You don't want to see one-sided basketball in the Olympics. It's just not entertaining. Like, who would want to see that? Ultimately, I do feel like they have to win. Yeah, I mean, if you're USA, like, it's gold or bust. Like, it's... Yeah. There is no silver. Like, it's like, we are the, the country that invented it. We're the ones that are the biggest market for it. We have the best players in the world. Like, it's it's gold or bust, like, for Team USA. We it's, have the best players in the world, but do we have the best players on the court? That's the question. You still have the best players on the court. You still do. <laughs> you still, <laughs> even if you, you, you still do, like you still do. And who's to say, like in ten to fifteen years, I mean, maybe it'd be even more competitive. Which are, the track it's going probably will. 